There you are. Professor Dr. Tarquin Dangleby here, you see. Uh, the following thing is the matter. I have found in extensive studies that most people use their fountain pens mainly for writing. In fact, 98% of the time they use it for writing, which makes a lot of sense, because it is a writing object. But still, there are many, many other, other appliances of using the fountain pen. There are many, many other things you can do with the fountain pen. Now, most of those things don't really make sense. For example, playing darts. Or using them as a fork. That does not really make sense to me, because it is ridiculous. But, there are other things that you can do. You can do them. It's no problem. And those things are drawing. And creating art. Now, most people have the weird, strange idea that they cannot actually draw. So, I thought I should jump in and give you a training in artistic drawing. I'm very suited as chair of the Department of Penology, Cambridge University. As I said before, Cambridge, it's, it's kind of like Harvard, except it's actually prestigious. Uh, so I thought I would be the ideal person to do this. And that's what I'm going to do now. So, today we're going to draw two simple animals. Simple animals? That, uh, that, 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 that you can draw. And uh, that's all there's to it. So you just, I'm going to show you all the steps. So that you can go to parties, impress your friends and say, look what I can do. I was taught by the great Professor Targwin Dangbrey. And that's me. And if I teach you, you can do it. And Lord Windermere will watch too. And he will see if you are doing well. Now. I'm not entirely sure how long this series will run on fpgeeks.com, but it's entirely possible that there might be more episodes. So what I would like you to do is make a list of animals that you would like me to draw. And then I will show you how the animals are drawn. And that's all, you, all, all there is to it, you see? So just write a comment and tell me what the point is of, 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 of drawing your favorite animal, how, what you want to see me draw. And if I have a particularly good mood, I may actually draw in a future episode. So, we're going to start drawing now. I shall be using one of my favorite pens of all time, which happens to be a Conway Stewart pen. You'll see it in the video. It is a very, very nice Winston. And, uh, and I'll see you there. Ta-ta. How does this end? There you are. Yes, so today I thought we would start simple. Start simple, because a lot of you will not be familiar with the art of drawing. Something I have studied for many years, you see? So I thought that today we would start with a very simple animal that you can draw. It's very simple, and it is a camel. So this is what you do. You start here. Now a camel, as you know, is somewhat rounded off at the end. Then it has long legs, you see? fairly long legs, and then it has toes, camel toes. Then you just go up here, and you go back there again. Then you go downstairs again, because you need to draw the second leg. You have that camel toe again, and then you go up all the way. Then it sort of rotates a bit like that. Then we get to a very uh, difficult bit to draw. You see? So first thing we're going to draw is the tail. Camels have a tail. And at the end of the tail is a little fluffy object. It is called the fluffy tail object, you see? Then you go upwards a bit, like this. And you move up. Because camels have a fairly long neck. And then you have the head. The head is something like this. You have the lips. Camels have lips, you know? And then you have the eye. And you have the ears. Floppy ears. You see, camels have floppy ears, like this. I was, you saw that just with a masterful hand, I added a little bit of detail to that. Yes? Yes. Then you can make this a bit rounder, like this, so you can do more camel-like. It's completely normal. And then here, some of the most interesting features of the camel are currently missing. You see, those are the humps. So we're going to draw the humps now. You go up in a smooth motion. One, two. Camel humps. Now you're going to add some more detail. Done. And now, as you can see here, 
You have broad drawn a beautiful camel, I would say. Now, just because this is the first lesson of drawing with the professor, I thought we should do another animal. I know that this camel was already quite impressive and, and may have, have shocked you just a bit because you realize that you will never be able to draw as, as great as that. Well, let me just comfort you. Let me just comfort you by saying that with the right amount of practice, anything can be attained. Anything can be attained. You want to draw a beautiful camel like this? Well, just practice a lot and you shall be able to draw a beautiful camel like that. Now, having said that, I think the next animal we should be drawing is an armadillo. So we start with the armadillo, you see? So what you got here is start with the back. Go on to the tail. First leg. Second leg. Go up a bit. You got the head. You got the back. You got the head of the armadillo. There's a little thing on there. Add a bit of detail. You got that shield thing they've got in their back. Add a bit of detail, you see? And then you have the little snout they've got. An armadillo has a nice little snout. And as everybody knows, armadillos have whiskers. So you draw the whiskers. And also, something that's very important, that you have to draw here, are the wings. Because armadillos, as you know, have wings. You add a little bit of detail just by these strokes. Very simple to add a little bit of detail. It's amazing what you can attain by this. And then you have the little tail, which ends in a sort of arrow-shaped object like this. Uh, and also, some of the things you have to add to the armadillo are the claws. Claws like this. And you have to, uh, actually, you have to add something that is very important, and that is, all right, what, what, uh, what is going on here? What the hell are you drawing? And this is an armadillo, Lord Windermere. That's the worst armadillo drawing I've ever seen. What the hell if you add uh, armadillo doesn't have wings? Well, yes, it does. Uh, armadillos fly. Are you cracked? Armadillos don't fly. They're not birds. They're not, no, this is completely wrong. This is complete. And whiskers? An armadillo has no whiskers. I'm not too sure about that weird thing near the tail either. I don't know what the hell you're doing. But it doesn't make any sense to me. You know, here's, here's a simpler assignment for you. Can you draw me a crap salad? Because I'm kind of hungry. Well, like... I suppose I could draw you crabs at it. No, actually, that was a hint. I want to get out of here. I want to get me some crab salad. So, I suppose, just for the benefit of the viewers too, you just put down their pen, you stop drawing, you take me out for crab salad. Yes, yes, well, yeah, okay. Well, I, I'll just put on my shoes and I'll, I'll be here in a moment. I'm terribly sorry about all of this. I'm afraid the professor thinks he's an excellent artist, but he's actually, uh, well, not... So, I, I always try to stop him when it comes to drawing, but sometimes I'm not there in time. I really hope this is going to be the only episode of this, because it doesn't really make sense for me to have someone who is a, as poor an artist as, as the professor to, to give drawing lessons, you know. But that's alright. You know, i got a cocked hat. You see that? It's funny. It's, I've got a great fashion sense, because I'm Lord Windermere. Anyway, I'm going to have crap salad now. I'm sorry you had your eyes had to see this. There's only so much metal bleach you can use to, to, to unsee these types of images. I'm terribly sorry, but uh, I, I, I'll see you later. How about that? Bye.